Uh, what's wrong with the current law on being able to get married at 16? Children can't really object because they're under the parents' guidance and funding, so they can't object to their parents, even if they want to, and it's very difficult for them to say, no, I don't want to get married, I want to continue with my education and training... And after all, they have to stay in education and training until they're 18. So how on earth can you get married, run a home and do all the things that you have to do when you're married uh, or living with somebody? How can you do that when you're still in education and training at 16? And Sajid Javid, we quoted his words there. He said it amounted to child abuse. Yes. I mean, that sounds strong. What's the, what's the justification for, for using a term like that? Well, because very often the marriages are people who've been um, betrothed and married at 16 to somebody who might be 32. And that isn't appropriate. It's, it's a very different thing if 16-year-olds or 17-year-olds fall in love at school and then they can wait till they're 18 to get married. But if it's an arranged marriage supported by the parents, it is child abuse. I mean, if you're 16 and somebody 32 feels as if they're sort of almost going to get their pension because people don't realise that, you know, 32, it's not very old, as we know, but it is in the eyes of a 16-year-old. And what do you say to people who would say you're singling out a particular community? No, we're not. This is a, a national and international move to fulfil the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals to stop all child marriage around the world under the age of 18. So we're just fulfilling those. We've signed two treaties, but we've not fulfilled them. We still allow child marriage, and we shouldn't. So this is what this bill is all about.